How are you guys? Welcome to the video. Today we've got a Royal Enfield 2022 Hunter 350 on the bench for dismantle. Uh, this one's in fairly good condition. Unfortunately, it's had a, uh, a bit of a front end impact. Uh, this one's had the steering tweaked all the way to the right. You can see we've got the fork imprint up on the tank, unfortunately. Got a bit of a mark on here. Uh, this one does start uh, quite easily. We didn't have a key for this one, unfortunately, but uh, being a Royal Enfield, you may or may not know that they are quite easy to start, which allows us to test this one. So this one's got 8,607 kilometers on it. We've got the uh, analog and digital dash there as well. So we'll give that a start. <laughs> This one does start and run. It still does drive as well. This one has been driven around uh, the property on the car park. Click through all the gears. It does go through all the gears nicely. I've personally ridden this one. Uh, it is a little bit heavy on the steering as you'd assume, uh, just because it's front, the front's been tweaked. The front wheel does drive and true straight. Uh, the rear wheel looks good too. Um, obviously the forks are a little bit tweaked and the frame and the triple clamps are gonna be a little bit tweaked as well. So uh, we will probably have the forks off for sale, but selling them as bent and for parts. Uh, we will check and spin up the wheels just to double, triple check. So we're 100% certain that they're all okay. Um, everything else on the bike, obviously apart from the tank, and the triples and the forks looks to be in good condition um, we've had the headlight apart obviously to get the bike started uh, if you do own a royal enfield please get yourself a security system because that is far too easy to start unlike some of the newer bikes with their immobilizers and the hiss uh, and so forth the royal enfield probably mainly because of the price point doesn't have that kind of uh, luxury so make sure you get yourself an immobilizer or something like that for these bikes would hate for something bad to happen to your bike quick walk around though got a luggage rack on the back got the embroidered seat the seat looks to be in good condition uh, we've got some marks on the exhaust down here as well unfortunately as i said we don't have a lock set for this one so uh, unfortunately yeah we we won't be able to have a full lock set all the brakes and everything operate as normal. Motor sounds good. Shocks, everything feels good. We've got some good tires on this one as well. Again, we'll spin up this front wheel and double check that it is 100% true, but uh, driving around the car park, it does feel to be quite nice. Uh, can we get a shot of... So yeah, unfortunately, apart from that tank, interesting sounding bike to say the least. Get that one to focus. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, all the parts on this bike will be dismantled and listed on our website, www.bikesparesaustralia.com in the coming days. Uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to comment below and we're always happy to help and have a chat if needed. Thank you guys.